Hey everybody, Reed here, conductor of Orchestra Farms. Thought I'd give you a little August update. One thing, my child was born, so I haven't really been here too, too much, although I did get planting some seeds in this bed, which uh, the reason why I haven't had to be here is because our good friend Daniel has been here, making sure everything's been happening. All the squashes that you see in the background got put in by him. Uh, it's a winter sustenance garden back there. But look here, it's a tree. This, what is this? Oh yeah, the Tree Eater Nursery. TreeEaterNursery.com. Check them out if you're here in BC or up in Canada. The Shag Bark Hickory Nut. No, I don't know how it tastes, but I want it as part of my nut and herbal medicinal edible super yum forest thing that I got going on here. Starting to get things going on like that. You can see the lovely raspberry, raspberry patch behind it. The ganja plant, some kale, this lovely sora here, lemony flavors. And the bees up in the Mizuna spinach. Some motherwort, elderberry back there if you see that. Raspberries are even still happening here in August. We got some calendula and some nasturtium down in here too. Oh yeah, let's get that guy. Yum. So anyway, I want to give you a little update. It's looking pretty great. I don't know if you can see everything. Someday we uh, might think about having somebody who does actual video stuff here. But for now, hi, it's me. Aren't we lucky? Going to the greenhouse, which Daniel has been taking fabulous care of. Whee! Check it out. Yeah, the big mama ganja plants there. Another ganja, some ashwagandha. I like the roots of that for its medicinal power. Some hot peppers that were given to us. The marigolds, the cucumbers have been put in. There's lots of basil going down here. Maybe when we come down here, you can see rows of basil behind and in front of the cucumbers. Where'd you getting trained up these lovely, what do we call those, trellises and strings? More back there. The shiso is looking epic over here. In case you like uh, really good, strong flavors, shiso. It doesn't just look beautiful. It tastes really great. Ground cherries. Oh yeah. Some kind of a pak choy and watermelon. Volunteer tomatoes that are coming up here and there. That's right. We're doing some sweet potatoes. And look at this go-to cola patch. And this stuff is a bomb. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it's great for your brain. Celery is looking epic. Tiny go-to cola. You can see that the time of year you plant it makes a big difference. This one got planted so much later. Cardamom. Cardamom looks kind of gingery. Lemongrass. Who doesn't want some lemongrass to the cooking? And peanut, because it's fun. More ashwagandha. And we got this great mustard back here, which is uh, just coming up all over the place. Weeds we want. Chickweed. You know, it's kind of weed we want, unlike this hay. Yeah, did you use hay bales to do your garden this year too, as an experiment like I did? And found that you're not really getting out to water them as much as you need to, and things are kind of just going helter-skelter all over the place with it? We got mouse melon happening there. I do like to say the potatoes are looking good in, uh, in my other ones. And then more basil, can't have too much. Some more cucumbers and ground cherries. Oh, there's a big snake. You guys see the snake? Oh, a snake, yes. Anyway, grateful for all the snakes. They seem to really like the hay bales a bunch. The ashwagandha is actually doing really good in the hay bale. And here is a uh, magenta tree spinach, which I'm stoked to say is... Uh, perennializing itself here. This is a, what do they call that? Evening primrose, I believe. Come outside, we got some sprinklers happening here. We did a little bit of our side path work with the wood chips there. All these kales that are popping up in this bed are all volunteers. This uh, magenta tree spinach, volunteering itself. Carrots and nasturtium and calendulas and tobacco plant over there. And then Brussels sprouts and kohlrabi. Flowers I don't recall the names of. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it's a kale or if it's a broccoli or what. Here's a little fig tree. You see that there? Yeah. Along with that magenta tree spinach, there's a some kind of a kale or something popping up there. We'll see what family it's in. We like letting things go to flower because I want to have the good weeds. You can see the buttercup patch that's there. That is not a good weed. I don't want it here, but I need to really establish these all these other ones first to 
give it some contrast. You can see a uh, three sisters patch in the distance that's over there. There's also celeries and onions and borage, which is what I call a good weed. Lots of beets happening over here, a compost tea that's stinking away. You can see the outside ganju plants are looking pretty good. Obviously they like the heat, so any extra heat you can give them. And then we've got more mustards flowering here and Mizuna spinach, which I actually really like. The currants are doing pretty well. We got a little bit of them off this year and we need to put more stand of a uh, trellis up for the beans because the scarlet runners are doing great, but I haven't given them quite enough. I thought I would chat with you though instead of doing that. We've got some parsley down here and some cilantro that's bolting. Hmm. Let's try that. So yeah.